This is all published to this, uh, this small story. It's funny, I had a choice. I had to give it some away or I had to give all the people away. I had to let the thing go inside the water and let all the people die. But I had to give his only son. And this was his only one son who was born to him after so, uh, a lot of years. Only one son. Because this son was born to him after a year of coming here or something, 20 years or something like that. So only one dear son. And in his lifetime he had no son actually. The only one dear son he had to cho take a choice. After his son being born after a lot of years, and he is a second son. Then I actually recall his choice. The same thing for the God the Father had the love with the God the Son. This is the same thing that God the Father had the God the Son, same thing for God the Son. But same thing, God the Father, he will love human beings a lot. He loved human beings so a lot. And he had to take a choice. Either Jesus or either everybody. Either Jesus or either this world. Only one choice was the meaning point. Only one choice. Either this whole world. Why either my son Jesus. And he had to give away his son. This only and only dear whom he loved a lot. The, 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 love, the love with the father and with his son Jesus was so great. Because if God can love sinners, how can when Jesus was so righteous, so holy, so so good, so so uh, truth, the God had to sacrifice his son. It really pained God a lot actually. It really pained him a lot. He had to take a choice whether to let Jesus go on the cross or let his world uh, burn up in, in the hell of fire. He had to take a choice people of God. If God loves you too much, he's a father. His father loves you too much. His love is beyond everything. You cannot compare his love. He loves you beyond everything. He's, he's the one who likes to talk to you. He's the one who likes to walk with you. He's the, he's the one when you sleep with you, he takes care of you. He's the one who covers you. He's the one who protects you. He's the one who guides you. He's the one who gives you the gifts. He's the one who helps you. He's the one who directs you. He's the one who does everything for you. If you know this foundation to the people of God, if you know this foundation, you're always father. If you know this foundation, you'll be really strong in your life. If you know this foundation, you will really, really be strong in life. And if you know at the bottom of the father's love, they say in the beginning, his love is everything he wants to give for his people. He wanted to give the best to his people. He gave his best to his son. He gave his best to his son. The word of God says the God has given his son. Why can't he give us everything for him? When God came, everything is free for us. Nothing gets to pay to me. Everything is free for us. If God gave us beloved son, why can't he give us everything? I like to share a short story. You know, in the story of uh, this particular son, we know. And you know the main things which was given to back to his son. To his son. You know, what is our robe of righteousness? There is a gift. Which is given by the father. Second, one thing, authority. That that's a ring. This is given to him. God wants to give you authority back. Maybe we never have taken off your authority, but God wants to give it back to you. That was, that was the best thing I like. Why? That he has to wear sandals. Only sandals could be worn by sons. But the best thing what God, father wanted to give his son. Or all his shoes. But that shows him that he is my son. This, this, is the, this is the God. This is the God we serve. Whenever we come back to him, he runs through us. The God of God is in, in, in the story of prodigal son. When this son came back, he just ran towards him. Because he was waiting expectantly that my son is going to come back. He just hugged him. Just imagine if a person is so much dirty, how will you hug him? But you know, sometimes if you like something, you really hug that thing. You know, the, you know, always a Jewish father, they kiss something and he says, be blessed. The same way in the same story, father kisses his son. He said, from today onwards, you are going to be kept blessed. From today on, every property of mine, once again comes to you. This is, this is the blessing which I have in my mind. I'll tell you a, a, a last story. Best story actually. I think many people have heard this story. It's a real story actually. I mean, after the story, I'll really end actually. <laughs> uh, you know, there was a, a, a guy who used to sell girls. What do you mean by sell girls? Means he used to take girls and sell them to some people like that. He, uh, this, uh, he was involved in that, this trade, this type of trade. When his father comes to know about this thing, First, when, when the, the moment father comes to know about it, the, 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 the son gets scared and he runs away from his house. Then he tells that everybody comes and tells him for, for his father, your son has done so much things wrong. He is not even fit to be living whereas he has done so much things wrong. At least he could have uh, taken from your property but he has done something wrong. Right? And he says, nah, I am not in my father's house. At least I will now go back to my same profession. To sell girls and something. But this time, uh, the, uh, the people who, the, the leader of the slave trade, they were for this guy. You will have no use because the whole police is forces behind you. Tomorrow even you, you will end up in trouble. We don't want you this job, you get out of this job. Now this guy doesn't have a job also at all. And he, he knows everywhere he's a hitless because he's a wanted person. Anywhere he goes, people will kill him or people will do anything to him. So he has a wrong in his mind that now my father 
don't love me and even people hate me because so that's society hates me. When I have no love my job, I have no even money to be nothing I have, nothing is left with me. So he, he, he writes a letter to his father. Uh, he says, uh, I'm going to write this last letter to my father. He says, after the letter, I'm going to commit suicide. I'm just going to die. Because it's, it's, it's 